Hello, my name is Craig Prawl. I'm one of the community leaders at the Verizon Forums, which you can find at forums.verizon.com. Uh, today I'd like to talk about the ActionTech Bonded Mocha 2.0 Network Adapters. I'm using a pair of these in my house to solve a problem that I think a lot of people run into, and that's that my uh, internet service from Verizon, which is Fios, uh, comes in on one end of my house, uh, and I have some decent uh, ethernet cabling in that side of the house. However, I also have a streaming box that I have on the other side of the house on a different floor, and I don't have any ethernet cables that go directly there. Now what I do have is a lot of coax cable in the wall, and I can use these devices to transmit ethernet data over that coax cable uh, to, the to the other room upstairs. So you can find more about this product and other products that Action Tech has by visiting their site at actiontech.com at the URL shown here, or just go to the site and search for ECB6200 to find this particular model. Okay, so here we have one of the two ECB6200s. Uh, this one's in the uh, closet downstairs in my office. It's right next to where my file service comes in. You can see it's right next to the battery backup unit there. Uh, the gray Ethernet cable is coming from my router. That uh, connect is actually an Ethernet service that comes in. The black cable is a coax cable that runs from here uh, across the ceiling all the way to the other end of the house, up into the attic, and then back down into the living room upstairs. So probably about 100 feet uh, run uh, over that coax cable. And here's the ECB6200 upstairs that's next to the TV that I have a Roku box on. You can see there's like a one foot long cable there that, that connects it together. You can see that the uh, coax cable is coming in on the left. And that's exactly, this is how essentially I'm getting wired Ethernet to the Roku box upstairs. Now actually my wireless signal is strong enough to power the Roku box at a sufficient speed. I just, I have so many wireless devices now that I just didn't want to put that much load on it. Uh, all the time. Okay, so now it's time to find out just what kind of speed we can get using these Mocha adapters. Uh, they're rated at one gigabit per second. Uh, that's part of what the 2.0 bonded means. It uses enough channels uh, across the coax that it, it should at least theoretically get gigabit speeds or near to it. Uh, what I'm going to use to test this is a little program called LandBench. Uh, if you want to try a test like this yourself, you can also download LandBench. It's available at download.cnet.com. Just uh, search for LandBench, download the program that shows up there, and uh, you don't have to actually do a lot of to install it. I believe it's already ready to go uh, as you get it, basically. Um, the way it works is you hack, use essentially two copies of it. You install one copy on essentially a server machine, the other copy is on the testing machine, and you set it up uh, by configuring to use a port that basically the testing machine will contact the server at whatever IP address you use. At this particular case, I have a server which is a laptop sitting at 3.180. This is the default port I believe it comes up with. I want to test for 30 seconds. Uh, this is the size of the packets I want to use. And I'm going to do uh, my test using send only to start with. So what I've done on the laptop is I've already put it in listen mode. So it's listening, waiting for something to talk to it. Uh, right now, both of them are in listening mode and nobody's talking, so I'm going to stop that here, go into test mode, having my laptop listen, and essentially receive packets or send packets as fast as it can. Uh, this is, I believe, me sending packets to the laptop, actually. And I have it set up to do for 30 seconds. It's going to give me both the, uh, or essentially it's going to give me an average packet rate now this test is not actually going over the MOCA adapters. Uh, I have both of these in my room so I can go back and forth really quick. Uh, but this gives us a theoretical maximum of what I get in my network, which seems to be about 940 kilobits per second or 940, um, uh, sorry, 940,000 kilobits per second or 940 megabits per second, which is fairly close to the gigabit speed you can get over gigabit ethernet. Okay. Run the test also in the other direction essentially where I'm receiving packets from my laptop, run that test, and over wired Ethernet you would expect these to be fairly similar. Uh, one of the differences here is uh, other people are actually using my network at this moment to stream some uh, HD video, so I'm not going to get probably the same numbers in both directions, but I get, should get something fairly close. Let's give it a few more seconds.
and okay so uh, the receiving seems to be about 916 I've ran this test a little bit earlier the numbers were much much closer uh, both around 950 960 uh, I'm gonna guess that I'm uh, contending with a few other people in the house who are trying to use my network okay so this is the first of a couple of uh, screen captures I've did uh, running tests over the mocha adapters I did this test late at night uh, or early in the morning uh, so that I wouldn't have any contention on the network so these are the best uh, results that you can hope for I've moved my laptop up there it's now acting as the server uh, it's uh, upstairs where the Roku box is normally plugged in and as you can see I'm getting about 940 megabits per second 938 megabits per second um, that's actually not very far off of what the wired Ethernet does it's around 950 960 when there's no contention on the line um, ran a second test here got 935 if I run the test over again I'll, s I'll get the similar numbers always around in the 930s in the direction when I'm send, uh, sending data to uh, the Roku box from my uh, office downstairs which is the direction uh, traffic would go when I'm streaming to the Roku box now when I'm receiving from the Roku box or I'm currently receiving from my laptop upstairs I don't get any or I do get good numbers but they're not the same numbers you can see they're noticeably lower I get about 770 780 uh, sometimes in the low 800s depending on the day um, I attribute the the difference in uh, just the age of the wire being 40 years old I know the mocha boxes actually um, negotiate the speeds and uh, that they set up as soon as you turn them on they figure out how what kind of channels to use what speeds to use and what's the best possible out throughput they can get you see a second test here I ran I got in the 780s so uh, that's pretty consistent and certainly more than enough to to stream video over the internet so I've reached the end of what I wanted to show here I hope you've enjoyed the video and learned a little something if you have any questions about networking or this video uh, please feel free to drop by the forums at forums.verizon.com and post your questions there and we will try to answer them the best we can